The only middleweight champion in the world is Iron Mike Sampson. Welcome once again, wrestling fans, to WCW Windy City Wrestling. I'm Scott Thomas at ringside. And Zebra Kid putting Iron Mike into that trance. And out of nowhere, Zebra Kid throws a fireball right in the direction of former middleweight champ, KC Knight. This match, a long time in the making as far as KC Knight is concerned. But back in February of 1992, Iron Mike Sampson, after about a year long chase, finally caught and defeated KC Knight. That match was in Barrington, Illinois. And the Zebra Kid, as usual, had a hand in it. And now the Zebra Kid distracts KC Knight, and from behind, Iron Mike runs in and slams the head of KC Knight into the turnbuckle. Now along the ropes. And I'll tell you what, like it or not, Iron Mike Sampson has become a man possessed since he finally won that belt. Oh, power slam! Could be over quick, too. KC Knight, nobody. But nobody delivers a power slam like Iron Mike Sampson. And so far, it's all Iron Mike. KC Knight goes for the high five. Oh, talk about your action. Side headlock takes him over to the max. And now KC Knight trying to grind some pressure into the temporal area, into the side of the cranium of Iron Mike Sampson, referee for this match. Dwayne Goldsby. As my friend, the Hawkeroo Hawk Harrelson might say, Dwayne rep. Dwayne sure do. KC Knight able to hang on to that headlock despite the aerial maneuvers and despite a throw off attempt by Iron Mike. Iron Mike with a couple of short arms to the ribs. He throws him off. Shoulder block and look at KC Knight. Adrenaline flowing. Up and over. Oh my. Close line. Iron Mike. Another headlock into a hip toss and down to the man. Just as Iron Mike Sampson chased KC Knight all around the Windy City Wrestling area to get a shot at that title belt. Now KC Knight has been chasing Iron Mike for a rematch ever since he lost it back in February. And he got it in the wrestling arena of all wrestling arenas, Chicago's International Amphitheater. Dwayne Goldsby doing a good job there. And Mike grabbing the tights, using them for leverage to pull him over. And the Zebra Kid stalking outside the ring. You can count on the Zebra Kid getting involved in here somewhere. So far, conspicuous by its absence are the shenanigans of the Zebra Kid. Duck under, crisscross, high flyer. Oh, Iron Mike caught him and slingshot right into the bottom rope. Right across the throat, KC Knight. And there's the Zebra Kid. We knew it would come at some point. Hey, ref, turn around. Finally. Dwayne Goldsby chases Zebra Kid away, but the damage is done. KC Knight gonna have a hard time Regaining any momentum after that, I would think. Chopped to the chest or right to the gut. Turns him around and Iron Mike right above us. Whoa! KC Nice lifts under. Make a wish. Wishbone time. And it is no longer Iron Mike Sampson. It is Soprano Mike Sampson. gentlemen are we all cringing do we all sympathize with iron mike samson zebra kid coming over and talking to me about disqualification give me a break big suplex if you look up the word disqualified in the dictionary zebra kid's face is right next to it. talking to me about disqualification hey zebra you to back back in at the long range of hearts boy Zebra, Zebra Kid has been dangerously close to being disqualified from the entire human race. <laughs> Disqualification, my eye. KC Knight with some exciting action, giving the champ all he's worth. Leapfrog. 
Oh my, tilt the world slam! Out of nowhere! Iron Mike Sampson with the move that he invented and then perfected. The tilt the world slam. One of the most exciting moves in wrestling and now Iron Mike goes to another one of his famous moves, a boot to the side of the head. Out of the ring and down goes KC Knight to the concrete. The Zebra Kid up on the ring apron, is he gonna jump on him? Double axe handle from the Zebra Kid off of the ring apron. And all the while, the referee is talking to Iron Mike Sands. Zebra Kid, a wrestler in his own right, continuing to pummel. KC Knight outside the ring, and now Iron Mike Sampson has a debilitated KC Knight to deal with. He's going for the power driver. Pile drives KC Knight right into the ring. Face stretcher, and he covers. One, two, oh! I thought it was over. KC Knight somehow able to power out of it. And I'm telling you, KC Knight is on Rubber Lake Street right now. He has absorbed a terrible beating and now a neck break. How much more can he take? KC Knight able to kick out again. He has endured a power slam, a tilt the world slam, a pile driver, a neck breaker, and the skull duggery of the zebra kid, and he's still there. Now, shoulders to the midsection. Reversal. Iron Mike into the corner. KC Knight up. What's he going to do? This jam packed amphitheater crowd counts to 10 for the blast off, and Iron Mike goes for the ride. Duck under. And a close on him. Short arm. And a smile on the face. Say like it or not, this guy's awesome. 235 pounds, Iron Mike, the reigning middleweight champ. Went for a crucifix. Oh, I thought he was gonna reversal. He can have a new champ. One, two. Oh, this close. Within inches of a new champion. The middleweight champion is. Bound by the weight class of 210 pounds on the low end. Oh. 250 pounds on the high end. And KC Knight got all 236 pounds way up in the air. He wants to draw some energy from the Night Owls around here. The Night Owls, as KC Knight's fans are called, are hooting now. Big chop to the chest. Over the top slingshot. And he blocks the clothesline, and now he's going through the zebra kid. The crowd Sit back. back. Sit back. Boom. And down goes zebra kid. Into the ring post and the turnbuckle goes zebra kid. Shoulder first. And KC Knight has had enough with the masked man from South Africa. He's going for a suplex right now. Zeebs goes for the ride. That's only a half inch mat above that concrete floor. Zebra Kid, that should take care of him for a while. And now KC Knight goes airborne as Iron Mike starting to come to his senses. There goes KC Knight. Down goes Iron Mike Sharp. KC Knight on the verge of getting his championship back. A shortcut from Iron Mike and sort of sort of a turnabout from a maneuver you saw earlier from KC Knight. But that stopped KC Knight short in his tracks. Sleeper by Iron Mike. He's got it locked right in the middle of the ring. Iron Mike with the sleeper hold. 
Referee Dwayne Goldsby checking to see. Down go the arms of KC Knight. If that arm drops three times, it's over. There's the second time. KC Knight is going to have to summon something up. Oh, it, oh, it almost went down. KC Knight trying to get the blood circulating. What's he going to do? Iron Mike still has it. Double elbow to the gut. Oh! Iron Mike went to the clothesline, and down goes the ref, and in comes the Zebra Kid. And now they're going to double team KC Knight. Iron Mike has the chain. And down goes KC Knight. And down goes Zebra Kid. And now KC Knight has the chain. And down goes Iron Mike. Dwayne Goldsby is going to give this match. Oh, no. He's going to give this match to Iron Mike Sampson. After Iron Mike clobbered him, he woke up and saw KC Knight with the chain. Well, this match had gotten out of control. Your champion is still Iron Mike Sampson, but he's got to be real. Your winner by disqualification and still... Windy City Wrestling's middleweight champion, Iron Mike Sampson.